and it's called A Prayer with Every Stitch. And listen closely and you'll hear the words in the grass. It was calico and striped paisley and plant made a century ago for my grandpa's dad out of feed sex and lots of love and care. They say she worked in silence with a smile on her face, each stitch with a purpose so carefully placed. The only hands that touched it belonged to a Claire. She was a legend in her time, or so they said, with the tiniest stitches. Her fingers sped through the fabric in the frame by the old straight back chain. She sure could quilt, but there was something more, something special. Everyone adored. What held each quilt together was love and prayer. There was a prayer with every stitch, a thought and a special wish with the person who'd receive it on her mind. Every quilt a treasure, impossible to measure. And Claire and those quilts were both one of a kind. Grandpa's daddy turned on today and Claire stopped by with a package and a strawberry pie. Her pies placed first for years at the county fair. Rush to the door to give her a hand, reach for that pie before he could understand it was the box she was anxious to share. In all fairness, he was just a boy, and all he could think about was getting a toy or a slingshot or some arrows and a bow. He thanked her for the quilt, ran and put it on his bed. Being as he was a kid, he kind of scratched his head, see. There was no way he could have known. There was a prayer with every stitch, a thought and a special wish, with a person who'd receive it on her mind. Every quilt a treasure, impossible to measure, and Claire and her quilts were both one of a kind. Daddy used it, Daddy used it too. When my kids were born, Daddy knew what to do. Cleaned it good and passed it on to me. Was a wee bit tattered and a wee bit torn, but it was with me when my kids were born. See, I carried with me a bit of family history. Sometimes we use it to cover a bed. Sometimes we lay it in the grass and place our heads on that woven bit of goodness made by Aunt Claire. It's my favorite treasure, keeps my kids so warm. It all started years ago on Great Granddaddy's farm. I tell them this story so they'll be aware. There was a prayer with every stitch, a thought and a special wish. With the person who received it all on her mind. Every quilt a treasure, impossible to measure. And Claire and her quilts were both one of a kind. Sharia Gummy for my grandpa's dad.